This is part two of the instruction on how to use the data input and analysis tool. This part will focus on the analysis part of the spreadsheet. Once the data from the observations has been entered into the data input sheet, the analysis part of the data input and analysis tool is ready to be used. If new data has been entered into the data input sheet, it is necessary that you go to the data tab in the ribbon menu towards the top of the Excel window and click Refresh All. If you forget to do this, the tables and charts will either remain empty or will not include the newest data entered into the data input sheet. If you forget whether you have refreshed the data recently, you can always click the Refresh All button just to make sure. There are three different parts to the analysis part of the workbook. Each worksheet for the analysis contains different tables and graphs that analyze the observation data that was recorded in the data input sheet. These worksheets can be accessed using the worksheet tabs at the bottom of the Excel workbook. They are titled Demographic Information, Summary of Notice Given, and Target A through Target H. In the Demographic Information Worksheet, the data from the observations of different demographic information of patrons is summarized. The data summarized is the count and percentage of different observed genders, ages, and races, and also how many people were part of a group, and if they were part of a group, how many people were in that group. This data is to help you understand the composition of your library patron population, which could help you with library programming and promotional materials, among other things. The next worksheet is the Summary of Notice Given worksheet. This worksheet summarizes all of the notices given to all of the targets observed. This will give you an idea of what targets get better or worse notice than others. You might be able to use this data to compare targets and determine what might make them more successful than others. The next set of worksheets breaks down the analyses by target. There is a worksheet for each target A through H. In each of these worksheets, the first set of tables and charts tells you the count of each type of notice given to the specific target. The next set of tables and charts analyze the paths taken to the target and each type of notice that was given by the patrons who took that specific path. This could help you determine which paths lead to more productive patron interactions which could help you determine what positioning of the target draws attention the most in a certain location. Then we have the set of tables and charts that tell you how the patron interacted with the target depending on if the notice was staff directed. Finally, we have the set of tables and charts that tell you how different demographic populations interacted with the target. Depending on who your targets are targeting, this could tell you how successful you are at reaching specific demographic populations. If data was not entered into the data input sheet because the library chose not to focus on that data, like demographic information, or only some of the targets were observed, the tables and charts in those worksheets will remain blank. All of the tables and charts in this spreadsheet will be helpful to use as comparisons once you make changes to your target using the information in the Tenets of Attention video, by repositioning the target, or any other number of changes you wish to try out to see if they make a positive difference in how patrons interact with specific targets. In the previous instructional video on the data input sheet, it was emphasized that you should not rename the file from data input and analysis tool.xlsx as it will alter the references in the formulas which will disable the ability for the spreadsheet to update the analysis data if new observation data is entered into the data input sheet. We encourage you to keep the original file name but save the files in different folders with more specific names like before and after. Unfortunately, because the file names will be the same, you will not be able to have them open at the same time to compare data. There are a few workarounds for this. The best workaround is to save your file as is and then to do a save as for that copy of the data input and analysis tool and change the file name of the new file you are saving to include a specifier like data input and analysis tool dash before dot xlsx or data input and analysis tool 
date.xlsx with a specific date. This will allow you to keep a working copy of the tool with the original file name in that folder that you can continue to add data to or work with, but you will also have a static copy with this new file name that you can open at the same time as, say, a copy of the workbook called Data Input and Analysis Tool dash after .xlsx. If you change the file name accidentally but still need to add data to the workbook, you can always change the file name back to the exact file name it had when you downloaded it, and it should work again. That file name is data input and analysis tool.xlsx. Another option is to print out the tables and charts to refer to and compare to one another. It is whatever you are most comfortable doing.